everybody. This is my daughter, Callie. You might have seen her before in other videos. She's a little shy this morning. I don't know why. She's usually... I'm not. You're not? You look a little... You didn't say hi. Hi. Okay. So guess what we're going to do today? We are going to make... A brush. A paint. A, your own paintbrush. Now, if you're an artist, you should be innovative enough to know how to make a paintbrush. Right? My dad, my dad has to do some cutting on his hair. I would, I would rather do it on his beard because I oh. want him to shave it. Yeah, she doesn't like my beard because you. No, it tickles when you kiss me. Right. So, what we're gonna do is we got some various materials here. We'll go through in a minute. Show you how to use your own hair if you can spare a little bit to make a paintbrush using bamboo, um, basically. Uh, the skewers that you use for the grill or whatever. Uh, some tape and some hot glue, scissors, sharp knife. Kids, don't do this at home without a parent, please. First of all, because you might be taking off a little hair. And yeah. adults, hey, me, you do whatever you want. <laughs> so, she was going to cut some of my hair. No, we'll do mine. I was like, she has a lot, a lot of long hair, but we don't want to make mom upset. So, um, yeah, she'll, don't do not do this without mom. Notice Cushy. Or dad, whatever the case may be. What, what, Callie? She noticed it caught my bangs. Right. So she she has she does she wants to grow her bangs back. <laughs> and, anyways, um, we're gonna show you here in just a second all the supplies we have that to uh, to make your own. And I believe the material is bamboo, but they're they're bamboo uh, kebab skewers or barbecue skewers. Kebab. Kebab. <laughs> Cabal. It's so, a good cook. Good cook is yeah, that's the where we I guess that's the brand of these that we're using. But I'm gonna go through all the uh, supplies that you need to make this thing. Pretty simple. You need a hot glue gun, some hot glue. Um, so yeah, again, there's some items here that you want to make sure mom and dad are with you when you do this if you are not of age. Are very excited, Millie and uh, Alice here to do this, but I know Callie's really excited too. Uh, so what we got here are some basic supplies. You need a hot glue gun. You're going to need some type of scissors, um, a sharp knife, because, tape. You can either scissors. use like a masking tape or you can use some duct tape. I got some Gorilla Glue for the ultimate hold. The hot glue is just for the temporary hold. And then uh, the bamboo skewers. I've already prepped one already. But they're just those sharp little edge. They say good kids. Yeah, that's, good the, that's just the brand we're using here for this. But at any rate, uh, any brand probably will work. They just need to be these bamboo skewers you use for the barbecue. Y'all ready, Callie? Yeah. Okay. Comment down below what you got for Christmas too. Okay. And yeah, make sure you comment on the video. Hopefully you like everything we're doing here. This should be pretty fun. <laughs> okay, so Callie thinks this is pretty funny because one of the things we do need for this project dogs are making is a little bit of hair. So I don't want to make mom mad by uh, taking some of her hair. So we're gonna go back here and find a good lock of hair because I know I got enough back here right now. And uh, hopefully I get it. Did I get it, Callie? You're cutting it. Could it probably make my hair look a little bit weird, but you're not gonna miss any of that. From I don't even see the spot you cut. So what I did is I got a little bit of hair right here. We're not gonna need necessarily all of it, don't take it. Don't take. I need all the hair. You touch it. Don't take. Don't take it from me, though. Your you hair feels so. Yeah, my hair is a little curly. So what we're gonna have to do is um, manicure a little bit of this hair here, because I don't. I don't know what type of brush we're gonna do. I think we need a little bit less of this hair. Um, but hair. We should uh, make another one too. In the end, can be. It's my hair, so I don't mind. Did you get hair in your too mouth? Much, too much hair in my mouth. Get wet. You gotta get a little bit wet. Okay? <laughs> in your so mouth. that it all, so it's all together. Okay, and then we're gonna. <laughs> got this hair here. We're gonna clip a little bit of the top off, okay? I'm gonna clip a little bit of that out, pull out one of the curly ones. And my daughter thinks this is freaking hilarious. Got a little more hair in there. As you can see, you gotta kinda trim it. I have a new phone. Yeah, yes, she got one of our old phones. It's not really new at all. 
But she's ex all kids seem to be so excited. It's, all it is used for Wi Fi. She can't make phone calls. It's Saturday, mm -hmm. January. 12th. So we got this little bit of hair here, and what we're gonna do is take the hot glue gun, okay? At the end, and uh, just get a little bit on the end here, okay, of my hair, so that it all stays together. So this is what the hot glue gun did, okay? Just the hot glue gun on the end of the hair. Okay, so you saw that I hopefully could see some of what I just did. I just took a hot glue gun, and be careful because it's hot, and uh, just, it yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Wait, you can rub it on this, rub it yeah, on it's this. It's okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah, see, so, if you can look at there, the end of the hair is all wadded from hot glue. Okay, so there's the hair of my, from my head. You pull out any extra that I don't need. Okay, and we'll show you the next step. So what I did with the hot glue, I didn't do much of anything special. All I did was just get a droplet on the end, just to hold it. And I have this little like tweezer thing right here, because it's hot. It down. Yeah, just to hold it. It's not tweezers, it's scissors. No, these aren't scissors. These are like little tweezer things. No, they're scissors, they look like scissors. Okay, the next thing I did would do, um, or have it done beforehand, is as you can see here with this bamboo, I made this. All I did to do that, and you should be very careful when you do that, is I took a sharp knife, and I went at the edge, and I just made scored a couple little, and bamboo splits like this, okay? I, I, I made one split there, and then I made another split there using just the edge of the sharp knife. Probably needed a little more bamboo on the end. But anyways, you can see on the end here, there's two pieces like that. I've made two splits with the end of the sharp knife. Bamboo split splinters and splits really nice. And then in the middle piece right there, all I did was break it off like that. So that way I have two pieces that will hold the paint, or hold the, bleh, the what is the hair or the paintbrush? <laughs> okay. What is the hair? The hair is right here. So the next thing too is, <laughs> We gotta manicure that hair, got it wet again. The end is all uh, hot glue. It looks like a, looks like mm -hmm. a shark. I don't want a curvy paintbrush. So we're gonna have to manicure the hair a little bit, take off the end, okay? And you might wanna go through with your, your sharp scissors and just kinda taper it by clipping, just little clippings off the edge. Okay, with the sharp scissors, so that you get a little bit of a point. Okay. That hair looks really good. I know. I know. And <laughs> next thing is you're gonna take the hair and you're gonna choose where in the brush you want it. Now I've anchored in pretty good. Take out any excess hair. Anchor it in pretty good, right, right there, and you just hold it. Okay. Hold it in like, like almost like they're like little tweezers themselves. Hold it. You can, you, if you want, you can use a little hot glue just as a um, means of getting it stuck in there real good. I do recommend sinking it. I'm not gonna use it right now. Some like, like a Gorilla Glue or Super Glue to put in there. Um, just because, and I don't know if I can even open this thing. The uh, hot glue does wear down over time. Yes, sweetheart, you're just tapping my shoulder. Put a little. Yes, yesterday it snowed, and then now we still have snow out. It sure did. It snowed in in Plano here in Texas, and I'm telling you right now, we still have snow out there. The Dallas area getting snow is pretty rare. Okay, so um, then next. We still have snow. Yeah. We can play it. Uh huh. And that that might give me a natural activity. Yeah. They played in the snow a lot yesterday. Now, you're gonna to wanna to take your duct tape or your masking tape and go really tight. I've already put the Gorilla Glue in there. You're gonna go really tight over the end, okay? I broke also part of my brush on the bottom, which is fine. Um, down there, I just broke a piece off so that it's not the whole thing. So there you go. And if you wanna get a little fancy, uh, yeah, honey. <laughs> she said like and subscribe. Well, we'll get to that too here in just a second. Then take a little bit more right there and just 
There you go. Tape all around there. Good old duct tape. Wanna hold it to the camera? Yeah. Now. I can't believe you're gonna get paint on your hair. <laughs> still got hair in my mouth. Okay, and then finally, uh, just kind of tip the, the tip of the uh, hair here, just making little snips to point, make it pointier. And there you go. Hopefully a brush that uh, maybe even my daughter might use. It'd be like, that's my dad's hair. <laughs> um, but that makes it a little brush. This type of brush is not gonna be like horse hair, which is gonna be harder. Well, yeah. what, what do you wanna say? So I I put ice in my cup that was separated, mm -hmm. and then I put water, and now it's all stuck together like a bowl. Yeah, that's what happens with ice. <laughs> um, so, not necessarily a brush that uh, will work as well as horse hair, camel hair, or coarse like um, animal hair, but hair from so my head know, nonetheless, and a brush that could probably work to paint certain types of things. If you get the end wet, like I just right here, yeah. you can maybe use it as a calligraphy paintbrush, but it's going to be a soft tip, as you can see. Kind of uh, rudimentary, a little bit on the cheapo side, but if you want to make a brush, that's how you can make a brush. All right, everybody, pretty simple uh, paintbrush here. You want to hold it? This is the, this one, is the one that I showed you how to get it ready. The, the, the key to making the brush is this little holder in there, okay? And I took out a little piece of wood, uh, bamboo in between. We used some, uh, you know, the hot glue, some hair. Again, coarser hair for paintbrush is going to be better uh, for a paintbrush because you need some a little bit more girth and hardness. So like a camel hair or horse hair could be used instead of my hair which I probably have a little lock of hair missing there and it doesn't look all that bad, but that's good. <laughs> so that's how you do it. Uh, thank you for watching a bamboo hairbrush, a homemade hairbrush made from my own hair. Wow. Talk about some. I can do some magic. You know, I like now that she wants it probably. Okay. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Pull it out now. Like, subscribe, share, tell everybody about us. 50% of everything we make is going to go to the arts, endangered species, the homeless, the needy. Can, can you guys sub not subscribe? Um, well, yeah, subscribe. Me. Please. Please can subscribe. Can you also follow me? Yeah, follow. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the... She's I'm on the, TikTok. I'm the... <laughs> I think that's what I'm she's talking about. TikToker that has the least followers what? in the whole TikTok mm. world. We'll talk more about your TikTok channel next time. But I tell you what, um, I hope you tune in next time. We'll do another full uh, episode of The Art of F.A. Checky Painting the Cityscape I've been working on for over two months. I just <laughs> wanted to do a fun blog today just in between. Again, uh, thank you for all your support. We've hit 3,000 subscribers. Yeah! Big deal for me. I'm after my first, this is almost one year doing this. 3,000 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I don't want to stop there because I'm not going to be able to help others unless you help me, your views, your subscriptions. I want to give half of all we make to good causes. And uh, again, uh, if you can just hit that little button down there in the bell, I would truly appreciate it. So long, and we will see you next time. I'm Bye. tall as him. Yeah, now she's as tall as me. All right, <laughs> bye now.